Hi guys. My wife's just bought this. Three shelf tension bathroom caddy to replace the one that we've already got. Uh, we've had it about 10 years and it's going rusty. So she's bought another one. £14.99 at B&M. I've already taken it out the box and checked everything's there. So we'll follow the instructions. Caution, sharp edges. Take care when handling the unit to avoid injury. Hold the spring-loaded pole firmly in place when assembling the unit as failure to do so could cause the spring to release. Now on the one that we used originally I had to cut it to make it fit. Well, we'll, we'll follow the instructions first and then I'll worry about whether we can fit it or not. Step 1. Place the safety caps L on the end of each wire on the base of each storage shelf, J. That's these little fellas going on here. now. Ah, there it is. Right. I did check they were all there before we started. Okay, done that bit. Step two, fit thin pole cap A onto the top of the thin pole G. That's the thin one, because it's thinner than all the others. Thin pole cap A. That one. There's only one that looks like that. On the top. Done. Slide pole adapter B onto thin pole G with open end facing downwards. Then attach thin pole end E to the bottom of thin pole G. Well, that's the only one that looks like that. So that goes on there with the opening at the bottom. And that's the only one that's small enough to go on there. Uh, where are we? Step 4. Place the spring F inside the wide pole H. Spring F inside wide pole H followed by thin pole G. Do not try to fit the entirety of thin pole G into wide pole H as spring F will present this from ha prevent this from happening. That's going in there. That's going in there. Okay. Slide pole adapter B further down thin pole G and fix it onto the onto the wide pole H. Once assembled, place to one side for later use. So that's that piece. It's got to come down onto the top of there.
Okay, and we've got the spring in there. Select a tapered pole, I, that's one of these. Attach it to the first by slotting the wider end of the second pole into the tapered end of the first. Okay, done that. This will create the base of the unit. I misread that. Good start. Tapered pole rod. Tapered pole end D into the wider end of the pole. Okay, let's go back a step. Sorry about that. Read that again. Select a tapered pole I and fix the tapered pole end D into the wider end. This will create the base. Right. Okay. Better. Choose a second tapered pole I and attach it to the first by slotting the wider end of the second tapered pole into the tapered end of the first. Done that. Fix a black ring C onto tapered pole I and slide it down until it reaches the desired position for the bottom shelf. Well, we won't know that until we've actually got it in position. And I suspect I may have to cut these again. But we'll do it. So that is going to go over there. Slide a slide a black shot black washer K over the top of it. That's one of them. That will lock itself in place. Yeah. Slide storage shelf J onto top tapered pole until it reaches black washer. Okay. I'm not going to push it down hard yet because I may want to change those positions. Repeat steps 6 to 8 to fix the third tapered pole and the second storage unit. the end can you? I'm not going to move the camera, let's turn it around the other way. Alright, slide that one over, slide it down, 
to the desired height. Put that one over. Put that one over. I'm going to put this on here for now because, like I say, I'm going to have to cut some of these to actually make them fit, or one of these to make it fit. Because we're going above the bath with this, and it's designed to go in the corner of a shower. So it goes right down to the ground. Done that. Do not position the storage shelves on the joints of the poles, not right where they join. Select the pole assembled in steps two and four and attach it to the top. So that is going on there. Right, at this point we would normally be fitting this in the corner of your shower. But like I say, this is going to go over our bath, so I'm going to have to shorten one of these legs. Right, for demonstration purposes only, I'm going to stick it in the corner of the bedroom here. So we need to compress this. That's it. In position, <laughs> but not here. Yeah, well, there you go. I'll just briefly go and show you the one that's already in the bathroom where I've had to cut it, which is one of the reasons it's gone rusty. Because once you cut through the plating, then the metal underneath is going to get damp and rust. It lasted 10 years before it looked too bad. In the bathroom now, and this is the existing one, which you can probably see has got a fair bit of rust on it, and it's much shorter because I cut the bottom section so we could fit it above the bath here, which is where our shower is. So I've got to take that one out and replace it with the new one. I'm just comparing the old to the new and I was saying I'd have to cut one of the legs but in fact the new one has got different lengths to the old one. The old one 
top section looks the same length. The next section, on the new one, it's shorter than the old one. The old one is yeah, it's a little bit longer, about two inches longer or five centimeters. No, more than that. I haven't got that in the right position. Line it up with the edge. Yeah, it's about three inches or ten centimeters shorter on the new one compared to the old one. So on the old one I used one two pieces and had to cut that one off there. With the new one I think I can just leave this one out entirely and I've probably got enough length with just these two units without cutting it. So that's what I'll go and try. Well that's a real bonus. It did fit in place without me having to cut anything just left off the bottom section. Technique was to position the top first and then push the bottom up and into position and now it's wedged in place. So what I'm going to do is I'll just point at the top first I'll take this out and then right. So we're at the top. Right, my wife is going to film this for me. So top up to the top there, where there happens to be a black mark already from the old one, which I probably should clean off. And then if you can scan down. Yeah, there we are. And I need to push this up to get it onto the edge of the bath. Well, we also need to do a bit of cleaning, but we'll do the demonstration. position. Now I'll adjust the shelves to the height required. Just for the record, rust, rust, rust. I can't even separate those two pieces. Rust, rust. Uh, the top piece is okay. Doesn't appear to be rusty. And it's got, still got the spring in there, that looks okay. But these trays have had it. And I've got a spare tube. So that'll go into my stock of bits and pieces. That can go in as well. I'll probably put that one in even though it's a little bit corroded because it's got it'll hold the spring still for me. But the rest of it I think we can scrap. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.